This is Scott Fain with the Youngstown Lifestyle Podcast, where I take the time to learn about the people and opportunities in the Youngstown, Ohio community. Today, I had the pleasure of speaking with Curtis Coleman, a veteran and Youngstown local with deep roots in the community. He, along with a few of his oldest friends, created an organization called Brothers United, which sponsors local events to help kids in the community and provide examples of strong male leadership. So without further buildup, let's start the show. This is Scott Fain with the Youngstown Lifestyle Podcast, and my guest today is a Youngstown native, Curtis Coleman, good friend of mine. Uh, Matthew Woods is my partner, and uh, this is uh, Matthew's uncle, so I've, I've heard a lot of stories about you for a while since I've been working with him. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. That's good. Uh, well, first getting started, one of the things I like to do with this podcast is uh, – the purpose of it is just so I can learn a little bit more about the area and the people and opportunities and whatnot that come up as a part of Youngstown. So just how did you become, uh, or how long have you been a part of the Youngstown community? Well, I was born in Youngstown. I graduated uh, from Youngstown South High School in 1975. I hung around a couple of years, and then uh, I went to the, uh, I enlisted in the Navy in 1978. And that's when I, I left this area. And I did 20 years. I retired from the Navy in 1998. And uh, by that time, I had a couple of grandkids. And uh, I said it was time for me to come back and spend a lot more time with my family in this area. So I returned. Maybe I think it was 2003, I returned to the Young town area. And uh, I've been here ever since. Okay. Well, that's a great reason to come back is uh, family and great Family, experience. exactly. <laughs> uh, one of the things that I learned about you in preparing for this is that you have a, a, a organization called Brothers United. I wanted you to Correct. tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah. Now, Brothers United, uh, we started three years ago now. Uh, we had a friend, a classmate. These are all guys that uh, we all went to school together, starting back from our kindergarten in the ninth, early 1960s uh, here at Yachtown Grant School, uh, Monroe School, Glenwood, Hillman Junior High, and South High. The majority of the group all graduated from, uh, uh, from South High. And uh, we had a friend, uh, Chucky Hickerson, who was uh, unfortunately at the time was dying from cancer. And he made us uh, make a promise that we won't always get together at each other's funeral. And uh, fortunately, we stuck to that. And now we're trying to do a little good in our own neighborhood. We're going to be starting up a scholarship for uh, students graduating from East and Youngstown uh, Cheney's High School uh, as a way to give back uh, for the uh, – community that we came up in because when we were in high school there was at least six high schools in Youngstown and the population of the city has been depleted so much now we're down to just two but you know with the uh, amount of people we have here who graduated from uh, South High our group is dedicated in helping uh, grade school kids junior high kids and high school kids our high school kids we're going to try to do the uh uh, scholarship uh, aid, junior high and grade school kids. We're going to try to start a little mentoring and uh, give them some life experiences because so many of these children don't have good role models, and that's all we're going to try to do, try to be a decent role model to some of the uh, younger children in the community. Now, what kind of um, donations or, or how, if someone wanted to donate? To well, kind of we, we haven't set a whole lot of things up yet. We've been doing fish fries, uh, for, uh, to build our, our funds up for these scholarships. And we have a, a yearly, last year we had our first Chucky Hickerson Memorial, uh, picnic at the corner of Falls and Hillman on the south side where we all grew up playing basketball at. You know, we, we, we don't try to, uh, leave out the other side of the town, but since this group was started by the guys out of South High School. We tried to uh, filter everything around the South Side where we grew up at. We, 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 we're trying to establish 
and give back to the community is, is, is basically what we want to do with the Brothers United. And we have a, a, a wealth of experience within the group. We have people like myself, uh, retired military. We have a lot of guys uh, that worked at GM and Packards. You know, we just have a wealth of experience that we we thought, you know what, we can get together and, and, and we could do a lot of good because most of us had fathers in the home. And we see an unfortunate rise in these kids uh, who don't have fathers in the home, a good role, male role model. And it's not to uh, disparage uh, mothers because that's not what we're about. But when you have a blend, you have a good male uh, uh, background, somebody uh, in your uh, in your uh, corner who's a positive male, you can do a lot of great things and you can become a great person. A lot of these kids, because I work in the Youngstown City Schools, and I see a lot of it, you know, firsthand. Mm-hmm. That's why I told it. I offered to the guys, you know, see what we can do to help these kids, especially at the grade school level. You you need a good foundation, and you got to start mm-hmm. start young, and uh, it it it'll be a great thing. We're going to be doing free haircuts at uh, Williamson Elementary within the next three weeks, and because one of the oh, yeah. teachers started a gentleman's club for the first and second graders over there. And I thought that would be a, a nice for uh, the Brothers United to offer to come in and do uh, sponsor free haircuts for a lot of the kids. Because you got a lot of single parents at that school and throughout the Youngstown City Schools where you can't always swing $15 for your, for your son's uh, haircut. Because that's about the going price, ten to fifteen dollars at the barber shop. So we're just trying to start small and work our way up to uh, bigger and better things. Yeah, Matt was telling me about that. That's uh, I thought that was a really nice idea. Sometimes that's that's a huge thing for adults. I know when you get you know kids and, and get them you know nicely groomed and exactly good, you know it's, it's exactly. about self esteem and making you feel better about Man, the self esteem will carry you a long way. Because the, it, you can see it in a kid when uh, they're looking at their classmates who might have a new outfit on, on the regular, nice shoes on the regular, hair is groomed on the regular. And that, that, that'll that start to uh, work on a kid's psyche. How come I can't look like that? You know, we're not going to cure anything, but we're going we're gonna to sure help out. You know, you and, 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 and I, I think exactly. you know, you're, you're curing a lot of things. You're, whatever you're doing, you're, you're adding to the cure. If there is, you know, what I'm saying if there is one for 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 what we're talking about, I think you're adding to it. So I would definitely yeah. not take anything away from what you you gentlemen are doing. No, um, no, and, and, and it's great. It's going to be great, and it's starting to come together. You know, because we we had to pump our brakes a little bit because we had to get we still aren't 100 percent organized, but you know we start small and work our way up. Okay, but it's all okay, about so, uh, 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 being an uh, uh, asset to the community. Uh, if someone wanted to participate in the, the free haircuts, and, and you mentioned it's taking place at the elementary school, uh, there's something that someone can do or to, to join that if they want to bring their child down, or do you guys have to yeah, work see, out yet? What we have to first establish uh, what date we have to come up with. Uh, uh, we have to type up some permission slips for the uh, kids to take to their parents. You know who 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 wants to uh, receive a free haircut because you know we just can't uh, line the barbers up and say hey pull these kids out of class that's not going to fly you know so we have to I've already cleared things with the principal at uh, my school Williamson Elementary and they're they're ecstatic about it you know and I, I appreciate that school because anything they can do to help enhance those children and, and put a smile on their face and that's part of being educated also learning how to get along. You know, it's more life than, yeah, you need to know your reading, writing, and arithmetic, but you need to know how to socialize also. You need to know how to carry yourself. You know, a lot of these kids don't even know how to say good morning. Some of them don't know how to tie their shoes. And I, it was just strange to me because that's a lack of home training a lot of times. And it is what it is. And if we can aid in that, then that's what we're going to do. Well, we'll help too. Uh, I mean, Matt and I'll help in, in promoting it when you guys are ready. To, oh yeah, to move yeah. forward. Yeah. You know, we'll do another now, podcast the like group. this. We're talking more specifically about what you guys want to do, and and you know, just to announce it. Uh, we, we we haven't come up with a, a a credo yet for the group. That's what we're working on because we we realize that we need that because we're going to get these type of questions, and 
<laughs> we have enough guys within the group to uh, come up with something that, uh, you know, appeals to the community because we, we're, we're starting to get uh, known. We've been in the parade, the unity in the community parades, and uh, we have our monthly uh, breakfast to brunch together the first Saturday every month, and we have our business meetings the uh, third uh, Saturday every month. And we meet at the American Legion post on Glenwood on the south side. And it's, it, things are really coming together, really coming together. I know that there's um, – I've heard some, some just some general energy and stuff like that, mostly from Matt. Matt, Because that, Matt is my, my um, lifeline to a lot of things on the ground right. in Youngstown. So I, I hear about it from him first. Right. Um, speaking of which, on the 16th, it looks like uh, on the 16th of March at 10 to 6, at the Americans, you guys are doing the fish dinners, right? Exactly. Hey, and we're having a, a, a raffle. We're raffling off a 50, uh, 50-inch uh, TV, smart TV, yeah. So, okay, that's going to be exciting. What kind of fish? We do pollock. The, the dinners could mm. uh, consist of pollock, uh, macaroni and cheese, green beans. You get a slice of cake, and you get a... a uh, uh, pop all for ten dollars. I think we that's pretty reasonable for ten dollars. Now, do you get a, a bed to lay down in and take a nap in when you're done? Well, you, you no, you can. We we got a chair. You can put your feet up because we got the tables. If you want to sit down and eat at the Legion, you're welcome to do that. That sounds like that sounds like some good eating right there. I like that. Oh, it's, I have it's, not been it, it grows every month. Mm. It grows every month. I have not been disappointed uh, when I come down there to eat. You know, that's one thing I right. do like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, and and the, excuse me for cutting you off. And, and now, as the weather gets better, we're gonna we're gonna transfer some of the, this to outside in the grill area. We'll we'll be doing uh, different dinners, rib. We might have a chili cook off or whatever. But it's not always going to be fish. But we're, whatever it is, it's going to be it's going to be great. Yeah. So it sounds like you're trying to do things. Uh, Regularly throughout the year, just to kind of keep it exactly the monthly, going. monthly. Okay. Yeah, because we got enough guys uh, retired and uh, they they have the time to, to make sure you know, and that's what we 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 want to teach also to the, to the kids. Learn to be consistent. Learn to keep your word. Be about your word. If you tell someone you're going to do something, make sure you do it and follow up. You know that's that military stuff. You know you follow up. Don't. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Powerful stuff. Uh, I got yeah. one more question for you before we uh, get off. I like to ask a random question. Sometimes they're a little hard. I hope this isn't that for you. Uh, okay. Now, what's your favorite band or singer to listen to when you need to get motivated to do something? That's a hard one. It's hard because there's multiple ones. I'm way back P-Funk person, but I love me some bar cage. Love some barcades. A lot of youngsters don't know about the barcades. You got a particular song that you like? Move Your Boogie Body. Oh, I'm looking it up. <laughs> I'm familiar with the barcades, but uh, I'm not familiar with that song. Move oh, boy, body. if you could sit still while you're listening to that, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, my, my stepmother actually went to school with a couple of those guys from the band. So Is that right? That's what I think. Mm-hmm. Down in Memphis. Yep. That's where they're from. I know what I'm going to be doing when we get done talking. Uh, but I want to thank you for talking with me today. Like I said, this will be the first of many. I just wanted to do right. a quick something right now where we can just kind of get acquainted and I can talk a little bit about exactly. what you guys are up to. But exactly. I want to talk to you again, please, sir. Oh, it won't be no problem. No problem. I'm going to pass this on to the brothers in the group. We got our uh, monthly uh, breakfast coming up, brunch coming up this uh, next weekend, Saturday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I need to talk to some of you other guys and just kind of get a little bit of more, which, you know, just fill out a little bit more of what you guys are talking about. Right. So, yeah. Right. Let's do that. Let's do yeah. That. You can, you're welcome to come out. We, we, we meet at the uh, Petro Truck Stop on Meridian. This is this coming next Saturday, the second, I believe it is, second of March. Okay. Yeah, I won't be able to do that this time, but I'll definitely make it an effort when I come back down to uh, Youngstown and visit with Matthew. Yeah, no problem. No problem. All right. This every month. Well, every month. 
But I want to thank you again for talking with me, and uh, we'll be talking to you again soon. I appreciate your time also. All right, take care.